Welcome to the Alpine Valley School Podcast. My name is Isaac, and I'm a student at AVS. We are currently raising money for my school through Colorado Gives Day, and we need your help to learn more or make a donation. Please visit www.coloradogives.org slash Alpine Valley School. Thank you. Hello and welcome to the Alpine Valley School Podcast. I'm your host, Mark Gallivan. This is episode 29 of the Alpine Valley School Podcast. You can find show notes for this episode at alpinevalleyschool.com slash podcast slash EP29. As Isaac mentioned in our opening, we are raising money for Alpine Valley School currently through Colorado Gives Day, which is a nonprofit fundraising event here in Colorado that happens once a year. It's our biggest and only fundraiser of the year. So if you would like to contribute to the work we do here at Alpine Valley School, you can find out more at www.alpinevalleyschool.com slash Colorado dash gives. That also gives you a breakdown of how the money we receive on Colorado Gives Day is spent. A lot of people ask us, why do you need to fundraise if you charge tuition and what's the tuition going to? And really the tuition is going to support our budget, which is as bare bones as possible and frequently doesn't include things like a reasonable salary for our staff members uh, or tuition assistance for students that could not otherwise attend our school without some additional assistance. So all of our Details on how the money is used is laid out on that website I gave, which is alpinevalleyschool.com slash Colorado dash gives. And you can check that out. And also there's an easy way to make a donation right from that page. We appreciate all of your help and please consider giving even the smallest amount to help us continue our radical education. Now onto the podcast. Our tagline at Alpine Valley School is real learning for real life. We've talked on this show a lot about the learning that happens at our school, but we don't always get to hear direct examples of how these lessons apply in real life. One of our graduates, Christy Mann, who has been interviewed on this show before, one of our graduates, Christy Mann, who has been interviewed on this show before, recently had an experience involving the real world justice system, which caused her to reflect on her time in judicial committee when she was a student at Alpine Valley School. I caught up with her recently so I could hear the whole story. The reason I went to court was for a traffic violation. I got in like my first actual car accident with moving cars, that is. Uh, Two cars involved and some damage, pretty minor. So I had to go to court, obviously. It was probably like a month notice of when I had to go. I feel like JC taught me sort of almost to be prepared for something like this, even though you hope you're never in that situation. The way that it functioned is very similar to how JC happens. As in like, you go in, they say they're part of what they feel happened. You say you're part of what you feel happened. And then they give you a sentence. I didn't feel nervous the whole time. And there were a lot of other people there my age. And they all looked really nervous, just like very distressed and not sure if they were doing the right thing. And I was really surprised by how calm I felt when I went in. It definitely like JC is one of those things like I'm holding with me is, well, I've kind of been through this before. It's probably not much different. It's just a bigger version of it. We've been raised in JC and around that and taught that if it doesn't feel fair to fight that, to show you are not guilty and tell proven you are. So if you're not guilty and you truly feel that, no matter how minor the situation is, stick by that. Because I went in there with this idea that if I wasn't given a smaller sentence, I was going to have to plead not guilty, which would mean an even longer process going to trial and um, something I really didn't want to do. But at the same time, it was like, this is a really unfair ticket and there's no reason for me to be having this. JC has helped me realize this is really not as scary as it sounds and that going to court is really not as bad as it as it comes across. I think that it's something that can you can do. Like you can go and you can figure it out and you can learn about it and it's actually pretty interesting. 
What strikes me about Christie's story is not just the confidence she had going into what otherwise might have been a nerve-wracking situation, but her conviction that she deserved fairness and justice. In my experience, not many adults are prepared to defend themselves as zealously as she was, and I believe that her experiences speaking for herself in Judicial Committee were a factor. A few months ago, I wrote a blog post titled Give Kids Real Jobs, which talks about the power of having authentic authority and responsibility and how powerful that experience was for me. I think that same feeling is true for a lot of our students. Responsibility, freedom, and respect are values that become second nature the longer a student is enrolled at our school, and they become values that we graduates, as adults, continue to live out in our daily lives. If you want to hear other interviews with Alpine Valley School graduates, check out some previous episodes of the podcast. You can view them all at alpinevalleyschool.com slash podcast. Again, please consider making a donation to our school during Colorado Gives Day, which is December 4th. You can do so at any time at www.coloradogives.org slash Alpine Valley School. And you can find out more information about how our donations are used at alpinevalleyschool.com slash Colorado dash gives. As always, thanks for listening. I'm your host, Mark Gallivan. This is the Alpine Valley School podcast, and we'll be back again soon with more stories of real learning for real life. <laughs>